You know what? This is the perfect spot for an NFL stadium. Hello everybody and welcome to this fantastic build today. We are building Lambeau Field, home of the Green Bay Packers. This wonderful NFL stadium turned out fantastic in the end. I'm so happy with how this thing turned out. And right off the bat, I gotta get the elephant out of the room, you guys. Um, you can see, obviously, this stadium is not being built uh, the typical Minecraft way, 90 degrees. I'm building this at an angle, which makes this infinitely more difficult. It made it so much more difficult to build. And the reason that I built it like this was uh, because I am pretty much using this stadium as practice for something else that I'm going to be building in the near future. So if you enjoy this video, hey, uh, keep 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 subscribed to this channel. We're gonna we're gonna be doing some crazy things here real soon. So there's a little hint at something there. But anyways, yeah, like I said, this is built at an angle, and because it is built at an angle, I couldn't use World Edit or any of that stuff for flipping the stadium or any of that so if you've seen my previous stadium videos I was able to build a quarter of the stadium and then use world edit to flip it onto the other three sections because stadiums are usually mostly symmetrical so you only really have to build one section of it and then you can mirror it and do all that fun stuff but because this is at an angle it made that a lot harder so I ended up having to build the entire stadium pretty much by hand. You can see I still use World Edit to get these circular shapes and uh, all of that stuff, but for the most part, this is a by hand build. Made it take a lot longer to build, but the the, the more work that I put in, it, it just means that it's, it's more personal to me. It turned out a lot better than I could have hoped, and uh, you can see right here, it's already looking pretty fantastic, and once you kind of get to a really big size, like it is getting right now, you can't really even tell that it's at an angle. It, it, it just kind of looks like it's all blending together and it looks like a normal Minecraft build, which is pretty interesting. Um, pretty interesting how that works, but there's the pretty much the main stadium, the bowl itself, and now we're coming up on the sides here, and there are these sort of, these are like the uh, the club rooms where all the rich people go and they, they have their own little rooms to sit in and watch football games. That's what pretty much these rooms on the side uh, uh on the side are for with all these glass and all these windows and then here we are on the top of the stadium with this big old scoreboard right here and right now i'm getting up these lights which are just to light up the whole area and then on this side we have another huge section of outdoor seating right here you can see and it's kind of sectioned off into three little sections here and there's that and then i'm adding some nice little covers over the top of these so when it's snowing, negative 40 degrees in Green Bay, you know, 10 feet of snow, at least these guys up here in the bleachers up top are covered just a little bit. Those poor people down in the bowl with no cover, though, they're getting snowed on all day long. That's, that's kind of how it goes in this field here. And then you can see there's another scoreboard right on the top of this section here. And now we're going to come and do the actual superstructure of the building surrounding the stadium. And I should add that I am aware, I'm probably going to comment on this, but I am aware that there are upgrades to the stadium going on right now as this video is being uploaded, which is September of 2023. So there are upgrades going on in this stadium. The scoreboard in the far back that you can see in the back of your screen right now, that's been updated. It's just a big old fat scoreboard, one giant scoreboard covering the entire area there. I didn't update it, I, I left it as the original just because that's the way that I saw it when I was building it and I don't wanna deal with updating every single little bit because they are up updating a lot of things. Uh, in the stadium, they are adding an entire new section. I think it's for like player parking or something like that, little underground parking lots, something like that, but I didn't add that. I ended up leaving it out, but just a little disclaimer there because I know I'm going to get comments on that if I don't mention it. But here you can see we're just going around the outside of the stadium adding all the details that need to be added. That little section coming out on the left side, that's one of the entrances to the stadium. And then we're going to come onto this back side here and get this whole wall section, uh, you know, walled off, roofed off, detailed off. And we're going to be adding another entrance here to the side of the stadium. There is like four different entrances. To the stadium here which is pretty normal if you've seen my other stadium builds first of all go check them out but second of all you know that they all have multiple multiple entrances the state farm stadium that i built had like five or six entrances 
But, you know, there you go. Here's another entrance right there getting built up. And this section right here is sort of like a maintenance area. This isn't really where the, the, the fans go down here. I think this is like either office space or like player training area down here and uh, stuff like that. But you could see up there in the top there, uh, the camera didn't get it very well. But I added the Green Bay logo up there on the very tippity top of the building. You can see it. But just like that stuff things are going up and we got a lot of buttons and glass on the wall and a lot of fun little details I, I say it every time I, I upload a video and I'll say it again guys it's the small details that make the big things look good if you want your builds to look good you really do have to focus on the small things um, that's that's really all you can do there's no work around so you gotta you gotta focus hard on the small details there and there we go that is most of the exterior of the actual superstructure finished uh, in a minute here, once we get these roof details finished up, we're going to start working on the surrounding areas around the stadium. And if you're wondering if I have an interior to the stadium, the answer is a resounding yes. There is a full, mostly full interior to this stadium. Uh, for these stadium builds, I'm, I'm kind of really going all out. These stadiums that I build are kind of like a showcases of my building skill, just putting everything together and seeing what I can make out of it. And so, yeah, this is just another one of those things. And there we go. While I'm blabbering, we are adding in these wonderful little parking lots and planters going all around the stadium, getting some bushes and greenery in here. Bushes make everything look better. This is a concrete jungle right now, but soon it will be lush with bushes and little planters and fun stuff like that. More parking spaces. This area or this stadium doesn't have, as far as I know, it doesn't have a parking garage because I didn't, I haven't seen a parking garage or anything anywhere around this stadium. So as far as I know, it's just this single level massive parking lot that takes up, you know, 20 acres of land here. Typical American, you know, stadium here. We got the the, the Walmart looking parking lot here. So that's pretty interesting. The stadiums that I've built uh, in the past. A few of them have parking garages. I guess the State Farm Stadium just had a giant parking lot similar to this one. But here is the last little section of parking garage, parking space, not parking garage, parking space getting built up. And then that's going to be most of the exterior parking area. I ended up making the roads on the edges here to sort of, you know, signify the end of where this build is at. And then this building right here that I'm building is sort of like a little eating area. It's, I think it's, I, I didn't build the interior for this one, but I think it's like a little eating marketplace area just for people to get some grub, I guess, before they hop into the stadium. But here is the interior that I promised you guys. Right now, this is the main atrium, the main entrance to the stadium, which is like the big fancy grand entrance. And we're getting all the fun details in here. This is the there's a nice little staircase right there that I haven't built yet, but will go there. And then we got these floor details, and everything is just really, really coming together in this main atrium. This thing turned out super well, super good. I'm really happy with how this bad boy turned out. And then this is where the entrance into the actual stadium concourses are. So behind this wall here is the main concourse, which we're gonna fly into in just one second once we get these roof te details built up and there we go bada bing bada boom now we are in the main level one concourse of the lambeau field stadium there are seven levels to this stadium this is the first one the first of many i'll try to remember which each level is i can't entirely remember every single little section but i'll try my best i do know this is level one and this wraps around the entire stadium. I did not record the entire thing because it's all the same. So I just recorded this one section here and then off camera did the rest of the uh, the rest of the stadium circle. So it all looks the same as, as this right here. And you got some nice little food sections going uh, around the area there. And then a lot of this, uh, a lot of these areas are bathrooms as well. Um, and then on the left side, I don't have the, the walls built up yet or detailed. But eventually those will turn into some beautiful bathrooms and you know walled off areas and then this now what we are on is the third level um, for whatever reason it just goes from level one to level three so I don't know where level two is but um, it, it is what it is I'm just I'm just building what I see so uh, here's level three and this is similar to the level below but it's a little bit smaller and it's a different a little bit of a different style as you can see the walls are kind of a different color and a little different detail 
style here. And then those yellow things that you can see on the ceiling there, those are pretty much the signs to help people navigate to their correct sections. And then out here is just a little like pavilion area with a bar and some seating areas, which is pretty nice. So uh, just a nice little area to help spice up the spice up the stadium and add a little bit of uh, interesting places to explore. And then here we go. We're finishing up this third level here with some more brick walls, some green, some gray, a lot of green and gray and yellow in this stadium. That's the main colors of the Packers and the stadium. If you hadn't noticed already and then there we go got some nice little roof details ceiling details there and then some food stands water stands drink stands going all around there and then here i believe this is level four i think this is the uh the miller light deck i think that's what this is called so just in a little area for people to sit down and hang out and then here is a another little concourse section on level four i think and uh there we go nothing special there and then here's another, like, is a private area uh, where I think you, I'm assuming you have to pay to get in here. But this is like a lounge area where you can have your own little section to, you know, go to the bar and have some nice, cool little drinks. And you have this little indoor area to hang out. And then uh, there we go. We got some TVs on the walls there, some little seating areas. And this is just a, like, a, like a nice little fun place to hang out. And now we are coming into the section with the uh, walled off club areas if you remember what i talked about earlier in the video how on the sides of the stadium there are those tall little wall sections that's what we are looking at right now and you can see inside of the windows there i'm adding all the different little club rooms each club room is pretty much exactly the same to any other club room so i just kind of worked on one and then i had to copy everything over to the next one and i did that about 20 times uh per side and per floor as well so if you remember no world edit so i had to build this all manually by hand so keep that in mind this is pretty crazy but uh here's the back section this is another little section of seating area and then there's this nice little back hallway area which is pretty cool I, I like the look of this little hallway section i like how it turned out it's pretty similar to the rest of the stadium but it's just a little more open and a little more i guess a modern style and then here we go up into the very top section of the stadium, this final little lounge area. And this is the very tippity top. So after this, here we go. You know what time it is. It's time for the cinematics. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this stadium. Let me know down in the comments below what other builds you want me to do on this channel. What other stadiums do you want me to build? Because I'm just the stadium guy now, apparently. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next video on my channel. And until then, guys, have a great day, and goodbye! Just let me give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me. And if you want to download this map, guys, go check out my Patreon in the description below. Have a great day. Goodbye.